Hey Libra, thank you so much for coming to your weekly love reading. Um, this should resonate for Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Uh, those of you guys that are cross-watching, welcome, welcome. I just want to throw this out there for Libra because there was some Libras that got their feelings hurt, okay? I know not all of you guys are like that. But there are a couple, you know, sprinkled in who feels like, you know, anything against Libra that's not cupcakes, rainbows, and sunshine is an attack. That's not the case. Um, so I just want to throw this out there before I even start the reading so everyone's all on the same, you know, same playing field. If you are a Libra woman um, and you're dealing with a man or a woman, uh, the situation tends to be reversed because Libra has so many cross watchers um that are watching for their libra partner so that's why a lot of times it's flipped okay so i do just want to like throw that out there with or for you guys just so that you guys understand that sometimes the energy is opposite or reverse uh also too if you haven't already please like share subscribe hit the notification bell if you want to receive alerts for when i post my readings and with that being said libra um let's go ahead and hop into your reading libra 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 who is Libra currently dealing with romantically? Okay. Woo, Chariot. Okay, Libra, you guys possibly are dealing with a Cancer. All right, let's see. I have like this new kind of, I'm trying to fix my angles and stuff, so bear with me. All right, so you guys can actually physically see the cards. Uh, how does Libra feel about this person romantically? Princess of Wands possibly a Leo, Sag, or Aries. Also can be a Capricorn, um, Taurus, or Virgo because princesses are um, earth signs, elements as well, okay? Or they have earth like in their chart, secondary or something like that. Okay, um, what is the current situation or issue between Libra and their person of interest? Two of Swords. All right, that's definitely a Libra card. Um, what is an external influence or a block for the situation or for Libra and a person moving forward romantically? Okay, Four of Swords. That's also Libra. And what's the best potential outcome this week? Whoa. Ooh, Eight of Pentacles. Beautiful. That is um, Virgo. So first things first, I do feel like um, for some of you guys, you guys are dealing with the Gemini. Um, I am going to say that or an Aquarius or Libra or another Libra, but I feel very strongly that, um, for right now, what I see Gemini or Virgo, uh, you know, this person can be very slow moving with what you're being offered or what they are offering you. Um, you know, I feel like they're still seeking or exploring other options before they completely commit or before they completely like give their all to you. And there is a level of immaturity here, but I do feel like, you know, one party wants to give their all. However, it's like they're being stalled or they're being stopped. It's just a very slow moving type of relationship or type of situation. However, this is a long-term situation. And this is one that is very real and has the potential for something very long term. So maybe it's, you know, the more effort or energy that's put into it, you know, the more that comes back. Um, so I just want to say that. Now, I'm mentioning signs because a lot of um, watchers or viewers, you guys want to know what signs are coming up, right? For me, because we have a ton of placement in our chart, you know, the signs are just kind of, you know, there just to help us, I guess, you know, okay, yeah, I'm dealing with this or yeah, I'm dealing with that. But for the most part, it's also about, you know, characteristics, right? Because a lot of times, like, I mean, at least for me, and I can speak for myself, I don't remember if somebody, you know, what their Mars is in, right? And for women, you know, the Mars placement is complete, it is, is very important, the Mars and Venus. So, with that being said, it's like, just keep that in mind when you're watching this, really focus on characteristics and how they act and how it relates to you and if it hits home, okay? So we have the chariot. Give me more information about Libra's person of interest, please. Romantically. Okay, nine of swords, like I said, they may be a Gemini. You guys possibly can be at a distance from one another or not talking. Um, 
somebody feels like they have to move on because it's just too much. There's just too much going on in the head, right? Like, especially for this, it's causing this person, it, it's causing them like mental agony. It's causing them a level of doubt. It's like this person is very hyper fixated. Why are they so upset? Because of the emperor, okay? Possibly over an Aries. Possibly over just the fact that, you know, somebody is coming across very harsh, okay? Um, very, very much like there's a decision that has to be made that's best for the situation and maybe not for themselves. Let me show this emperor with the four of pentacles, okay? Or it also can be because, look, we have, you know, the four of pentacles here, which is definitely Capricorn energy. You know, this can also be um, about, you know, this person manifesting, you know, somebody really taking that step and really taking that action coming from this four of pentacles, right? Coming from a level of stillness. Also, too, I do feel like somebody... Uh, feels like they're not giving. There's not enough uh, giving here. There's not enough opening up. Somebody is kind of in like that braggadocious state where it's like, look what I have. What the fuck do you have? Um, there's a level of ego here. I do want to say this. And the Four of Pentacles is Sun in Capricorn. So it's all about the need to live, you know, in a very intense manner. Okay. In a very ambitious manner. So you know, this can definitely pertain to why they're upset is maybe the fact that somebody is moving forward, but they're, mo they're more so focused on, you know, income and um, their career versus, you know, a relationship. Yeah, I do think that that's also Capricorn energy as well. It's like they're going back and forth with you know, their money, they're very focused on the physical aspect, they're very focused with what's inside of them, you know, what they have to offer. And I feel like for them, I'm going to be honest, Libra, I feel like for them, they understand the aspect, okay, of the fact that you like things to look nice, right? You have a very specific view on how things should be done, on how things should look. You guys are very visual people, right? So for them, it's like they're very much focused on their money right now and trying to, you know, build themselves up in a sense before even offering anything. And I think for you, honestly, with the Three of Pentacles here, again, Capricorn, you enjoy this. And I think that this is Capricorn Mars. Mars and Capricorn, let me say this. So I feel like, you know, you you definitely see this person working hard. You definitely feel like they're doing the right thing. I do feel like uh, for whatever reason, um, Libra, part of, part of your problem may be the fact that they're not hyper-focused on you. They're very focused on their work. Also, too, it's, they're very structured right now. There's not a lot of... Um, if we take a look here, there's no cups. It's primarily pentacles, right? And we have the swords here, but it's it's not a lot of love. So this person may be coming off as extremely um, detached, but very focused on what they're providing. One more card, please, for Libra's person of interest. King of Cups. Okay, definitely you guys could be dealing with a Leo or a Scorpio, um, Pisces or Cancer. However, kings tend to represent the fixed signs and also uh, fire as well. Kings represent fire. So that's why I said Leo and Scorpio. You know, let me say this because I do want to throw this out there. This person, you know... They're very, very careful with how they love. I do want to say that. And for them, especially if they have a Capricorn Mars with a water sign, like a water uh, Venus or something of that sort, 
like how they live or how they show, you know, their love, like their, their uh, security is very important to this person, understanding, you know, what they're providing, their home, their house, like everything kind of correlates with one another. And definitely like the home is their center, okay? And with as much Capricorn energy that's coming in, Capricorn is the father of the Zodiac. So we have Cancer and we have Capricorn here. So even if it's inside of their chart, this is why I'm explaining it to you. Um, they're constantly torn on being a provider and also having that loving aspect into it. Six of Wands, which may also be why they're so distant or why you feel like you know, they're, it's almost like this person is, is, is high up and like they're untouchable. Like it's hard to really get their attention or really pull them in. And it's because they're very successful right now with what they're doing. There's a level of victory here that they're feeling, especially if they're embarking on a new um, business venture or things like that. Um, also too, something I do want to note, this person is seen by many people. Many people want the chance to really have a conversation with them and really hone in on, you know, um, who they are. Like, like this person definitely speak, like sparks a lot of curiosity with other people. I do want to say that Libra. Um, and it could be because of how they look. It could be how they speak or how they communicate or the fact that they're very just articulate and intelligent and have a very business sense. Like, I feel like this person is a business owner. I don't know why. How do you feel about this person as a Prince of Wands with the Ten of Pentacles? Okay, so one, I feel like this is definitely a new beginning. Either it's a new beginning to a old relationship that's coming back around, or this is a possibility of something brand new. Um, or you feel like it's a new start. It's a new process, right? You know, you feel like this person is starting to open up. They're starting to let you in. I also feel like with the princess of wands, there is a high attraction to this person. You're, you're physically drawn to them. And I also think, too, the fact that their home is very well put together, um, it's very efficient. It's cozy, but it's efficient. Ten of Pentacles. You know, you definitely feel like this person is somebody that you would you would marry. I can get that. Or that you want to settle down with. Like, I feel like you're... The fact that there's a lot of Libras in their head right now with what they want from their partner is, is very interesting. Yeah, I think that this person gives you a lot of emotional fulfillment. Even if right now they're being cold. You know, I do get that. And it can be, too, that there is some distance that's been put between you guys because you do have the Eight of Wands here, what's being communicated with the Eight of Wands, the Four of Cups. You know, you you or your party or your person, let me say that, may feel as though, you know, what's being offered isn't enough, right? Or there can be a level of boredom here. There can be a level of routine that's just like, it's just not enough. You know, there's something... Yeah, okay, we have the physical aspect, right? We have the material aspect. But when it comes to love, it's just there's something emotionally that's not completely fulfilling. Why? Because of the King of Swords. Uh, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. Also, Leo. Let me ask, how does um, Libra feel about this King of Swords? Two of Wands, I mean, that could be you right? Um, let me think. Libra, you could possibly feel like, you know, one, there's another person in the picture. Okay. That's the first thing that you feel like there's something that needs to be cut out. Or you can feel like you're the one that's the issue with giving. Because what is this King of Swords with the sun? Like I said, possibly over a Leo or possibly over just the fact that, you know, it, it it's maybe somebody who's normally super nurturing and caring and loving and commun you know, can communicate. Maybe this person who is a ball of fire and a ball of light, maybe they've kind of done some type of flip a -roo and now they're coming in as this king of swords. Because they're very cold. There's no there's no emotions here. 
right? Maybe that's why, or it can legitimately be the fact that a Leo needs to be cut out or that a Leo is cutting you, cutting somebody out, cutting you out, Libra. That also can be it. Or cutting off the emotional aspect of it and not, no longer making that offer, which is forcing you in a state where you just sit there and like, what the fuck? What is Libra like about their person of interest? The high priestess. Okay, I definitely feel like, one, I think you like the fact that there's a different aspect to this person. I think you find it interesting that you don't know which way or exactly everything that they're sharing. I think that you know that this person is very intuitive. I think this person is coming across as having a different understanding of how things work, even if they're not expressing that to you um that is happening and i also feel like too for you libra you feel like this person is uh that this is your person this is your life person because it's interesting in this deck the high priestess is all about destiny and waiting and maybe you feel like this person is willing to wait for you maybe this person is willing to you know take the time and uh wait for when you're ready Right, Emperor, okay, Aries. It also can be the fact that you are waiting for an Aries. You are waiting for an Aries to make a decision, to finally move forward with you and no longer be in hiding. Yeah, I think that, I mean, I definitely think that that's a possibility. I do also think, though, um, that there is a level of secrecy for whatever reason, or there's not a lot of communication between you and this person right now. Either somebody's lying, or there's something that's happening in the fore, like the back, the back side of it, that's not allowing you a clear view of exactly what's going on. I am getting that strongly. I don't know why, but I am. It's almost like there is a level, like a waiting period. And I think that for you, the longer that this progresses, the worse it gets. All right. What is Libra not like about this person I want to fight? Okay, the world card. The things that, the, the fact that things ended. The fact that things are changing, right? And that is uh, Scorpio, Leo, Taurus, Aquarius, or, or, or uh, Capricorn. What's changing and what's ending? The lovers, okay? Also Gemini. Yeah, Libra, I don't think you're with this person. I think a lot of you guys are not with them. And I think that they're ending the cycle. They're ending the back and forth with you. And I think that the fact that they're ending it and there's not a lot of love that's being put in here, that's scaring you. Why? Because of the Three of Cups. Because you really do love this person. That's definitely Cancer energy. You know, I, I definitely feel like you have a strong magnetic connection with them. And I think the idea of not having them in your life or the idea of not having them close enough to you, I think it hurts. And also, too, like, think about it. Um, the Three of Cups is Mercury in Cancer, right? And that's all about expressing how you feel uh, in a loving manner, right? But also, you know, doing it in a way that, you know, incorporates family and that type of thing. So the fact that this person possibly is a, has a cancer mercury, but they're not necessarily communicating with you in that type of way, I think that's a little bit hard, hard right? Even if together you guys work great as a team, you know, great as a group, great as a family. It's still what you don't like is the Three of Cups. What they're coming up as is the Three of Pentacles. It's it, it's a very detached uh, type of energy, okay? Hopefully this makes sense. I'm sure there'll be some petty person in the comment. Oh, you're, you're attacking me. I feel personally violated. Oh. Uh, here's my little rant, because I like to go on rants at least, like, once a uh, YouTube reading. You know, um, for those of you guys that think I'm tough or hard on you, like, yeah, I am. Because, honestly, I love Libras, and I'm a Libra ascending, and, um, it's like, 
people that want to just hear what they want to hear, like, that's not me. Like, I'm not going to sit here and bullshit you. I'm not going to sit here and stroke your ego. I'm not going to sit here and say, hey, yeah, this person is fucking happy with you. No, your person is going through the motions. Your person is focused on their money. They're not focused on you. And that's just the reality of it. You're upset because there, there's not a lot of emotional connection here. There's not a lot of touching. You can look, but you can't touch. You don't like that because it's, it's fucked up. It's like, well, what the hell, right? But it is what it is. Like, for whatever reason, this person feels like they have to work on themselves. They're not focused on, on, on a loving, a necessarily loving connection. Um, okay, your current situation is the Two of Swords. I think we already talked. The Two of Swords is definitely Libra. For some reason, I think it's Libra Moon because I always fucking forget. Um, but it's it's all about, you know, having a choice, right? There's a level of balance. And I think for you, because this is Libra, Libra Moon or whatever, I, I, I feel like it's like really trying to think about, think think out what you have to do right? How do you restore harmony? How do you restore the level of balance? How do you come out in this situation where, you know, you're not getting crushed and your feelings aren't getting hurt? What's causing the two of swords? The nine of wands. Like I said, there's some type of waiting period. And I think either you're the person who's standing tall or you're the person who's begging this person to come back. Okay. And I think either way, it's like, how do you, how do you move forward with this? Do you turn around and acknowledge the person that's dragging you down? Or do you just keep it pushing, right? And it can be over a Prince of Cups. So over a Pisces or a Gemini, um, Cancer or Scorpio. But this is very much, you know, uh, a energy. It's, it's a mutable energy. So it's like almost like you're trying to adapt to what they're giving you. You're trying to challenge it, but yet also, you know, have that kind of all together. Who's the Prince of Cups? Or why are you showing me the Prince of Cups here? Because of the moon, like I said, Cancer or Pisces. This person is either hiding, I do want to say this, they're either hiding a Pisces or a Cancer. Or they can be an, uh, a Pisces, Aries, uh, or a Aquarius Pisces. That is a possibility. Um, or just a, just a Gemini. The Gemini, the water sign, whoever it is, they also can be hiding this person. Okay? This Princess of Cups. And they're very defensive about it. They're very, they're very much not wanting to share with you. They're not ready to, you know, open up. Because why is, why is there a secrecy? Okay, because of the hermit. That's why they've been quiet. Okay, possibly a Virgo. They've been quiet because they're really focused on, you know, the reason that they're not necessarily investing in, in you is because they're really in a space where they're trying to figure out what's the best thing to do for them. What's most efficient for them? How do they proceed for them? Right? Do they just say fucking walk away? Like what are like what are they doing here? Um cuz let's ask. How does uh, how would Libra feel about um the moon? What's being hidden? Right? The star. I mean, I think that for you guys, it, it would be a level of truth, right? What's being revealed with the star, the hangman. It would be truth on why things are hung up, why things are not progressing, why things are not moving forward, why this person is not giving you any type of physical attention or physical touch, right? Why this person hasn't had sex with you, right? Like, these are things to think about. Okay, and, and I think for you guys, you subconsciously know there's something going on in the background with somebody else, but you just don't know the extent of it. Eight of Pentacles. Okay, and the reason that this is also happening and the Eight of Pentacles in this deck is all about um, like being indifferent. It's like what's being offered here, to be honest, 
isn't what this person wants. This person wants something different. It's like uh, if you guys continue to have the same routine, right, which was the Four of Cups. If we have the same routine on a consistent basis, this person doesn't want that. They want something different. They they want to have sex, but they don't want to, like, they don't want to have to beg for it. That's also very Virgo energy. Um, look, as I said, they want to have sex. Here's the Knight of Wands. Prancing that ass through, okay? Um... Sag, Aries, or uh, Leo, also Gemini too. I, I just feel like this person is seeking that. It's like this person needs some type of passion or physical touch or, or something. That's coming in strongly, or you do, right? It's like, we need to have sex. Hi. Why? And this person can possibly be having sex with somebody else. I'm going to throw that out there because I do feel like for whatever reason, Libra, either they're not being honest with you or you are not being honest with them because you have the Queen of Swords reversed, right? The Queen of Swords, that's definitely Libra energy, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. Um, it's also... Um, cancer. So this can be somebody that has a Cancer Moon, Cancer Rising, or Cancer Venus. Um, they may not be, be completely truthful with who they're thinking about or who they want to be with because look, you have the hermit again. So there's, there's a level of refusal here. It's like there's one person that's left out and there's two people over here that are kind of, you know, getting it on. Why do you keep showing us the hermit? Why is the hermit key here? Because of the Ten of Pentacles. Okay. Desire. But why? 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 Because of the hangman. You see what I'm saying? They're giving us multiple things. The reason is, and the hangman in this deck is all about no sex. It's all about being suspended or tied to somebody having a relationship that is very much like Ten of Pentacles. It's not Ten of Cups. It's not, you know, the Ten of Wands, which is all about sex and that type of thing, especially in this deck, okay? There, there's, there's a lack of intimacy, a lack of intimacy, and it's driving somebody crazy, and that's what is making this person want to seek other options. Ten of Cups, or I'm sorry, Seven of Cups. This is making them unsure with whether or not they should commit or they should give to somebody emotionally. Now, again, I'm going to say this for all the people that are going to be upset with what I'm telling you. However, I really do believe it's either you or your partner that's upset that somebody's not getting any sex. And I don't know who that is, but somebody is clearly upset here. Somebody is clearly pissed. And like, what the hell? Like, what am I doing? Uh, do you not want me? Like, <laughs> hello? And I think that what's happening here is because there is a lack of intimacy, everything else is breaking down. And now this person or you or this person are not focused on the other, you know, on the other one. Because somebody's too much in their head fixated while the other person is like, yo, I'm ready. Are you ready? Let's get it cracking. You have the, and it's funny because as I'm shuffling, this card, Prince of Wands, okay, uh, is coming up, which is funny. So Gemini, Sag, Aries, Leo, they need that physical touch. They're very, um, and I'll try to make my readings very sex-driven. Granted, I know I use a sexual magic card, so you guys are like, shut the fuck up. But however, like... This person needs physical touch. I'm telling you. Libra, like, if you want to keep them, like, they need to have sex. Or else they look at you in a platonic way. Okay, so for an external influence, you have the Four of Swords. What is this person reflecting on? The Eight of Swords. Libra, you could be reflecting on a Gemini. Or you can be reflecting on really, really in your head about settling down, 
Um, you know, what does that look like? Queen of Cups, possibly over a cancer, possibly over having children, possibly over moving in. Um, as a block, I would just say that you're not expressing, like what's not being expressed here as an external influence? The Fool, okay, uh, Aquarius or Pisces. What cannot be, be being expressed here is there's something that's unknown and it's or it's something that this person is not saying to you. It can be the fact that they're talking to somebody else or the fact that they're going behind your back doing things that you don't know about. Um, or they feel like maybe they've not expressed to you. However, because the Eight of Swords is here, you do know about it, right? And with this Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, I feel like you do have a sense that they are giving their emotions somewhere else. How does Libra feel about the Queen of Cups? Nine of Swords, like I said, you don't like it, right? Nine of Swords, definitely Gemini. There's also, too, a level of distance here. Like, you're trying to, like, really stop thinking about it because the more that you sit there and you think, it's like you get in these mental, like, states and it's just crazy, right? It's also, too, the fact that Mars is in, um, Mars is in Gemini, right? Nine of Swords is Mars in Gemini. So it's how you show your emotions or how you're aggressive is you are thinking. It's not physical actions. It's all thoughts. It's, it's in a way where you want to communicate, but it's, it's, it's nothing solid, right? Um, yeah, and I do think that you want it to end. Uh, why is this how Libra feels about the external? Because of the Nine of Pentacles or the Eight of Swords. You see what I'm saying? So it's kind of the same concept here, right? It's like you're stuck in your head always wondering what if, what are they looking at, right? What's hidden in the background? It's almost an energy too where it's uh, very paranoid, like it's a very paranoid energy. And I think that you're very worried about this person or your person still being interested in them. Because let me ask, how does uh, the partner feel about it? How does their partner feel about, about the Queen of Cups? It's the Wheel of Fortune. It's something that's changing. It's something that's different, okay? It's also, I feel like for them, they understand like the person that's in their life, I do think that they are very attached to or this new person who's coming in or the person that they're thinking about yeah, I do. Only because it's like there's just a lot of uh, how do I explain this? Okay, let me let me go back. Sorry. So you have change here for how they feel about this this Queen of Cups, right? And I think that the reason that they feel like this is because. It's something different. It's things are changing. They're no longer stuck in a place where they're wondering, but also too, this person is very different from you. And I do think that this person may be at a distance from them or they talk to them on the internet or something of that sense because you do have the Queen of Cups again with the Eight of Wands. So how this person feels about this situation is there's a lot of communication going back and forth but it's very passionate communication. It's not pentacles. It's not daily routines. It's pure and utter like passion, being driven by, you know, your sexual urges and that type of thing. So that's how they feel about this Queen of Cups. Now, I want to say this, if you're a woman and you and if you're cross watching, let me just say this, if you're cross watching, and you're like, okay, this isn't a king, but I know I'm dealing with somebody, whatever. Just understand, like, uh, even if it comes up as a queen energy, there is still, uh, you know, th there is mask, you know, masculine energy behind it. Um, 
I do want to say though that whether you or your partner, somebody has very high feelings, very, very strong, strong, strong feelings about this water sign or this water sign that has air in their chart that is coming across heavy. However, it could be distance that's keeping them apart, but it's also hard for this person to let them go. Okay. As your guys' outcome, we have the Eight of Pentacles. Now, this can mean a multitude of things, right? Maybe it's you and this person working it out. Maybe it's you and this person really kind of getting down to the nitty gritty and seeing like where things go. Um, or there can be something that's very certain that's being given here because if you see this, there's something definitely being given, right? He's placing it over his head. A level of attachment, I should say. Um, for those of you guys that this has brought enough clarity, I love you guys and I'll talk to you later. Peace.